And now to new reporting on how the floating barrier Texas put up in the Rio Grande to block migrants from crossing into the U.S. came to be. NBC News has learned the idea for the floating buoys first came during the Trump administration. Earlier this month, two migrants found dead after drowning in the Rio Grande near the buoys. Texas says it appears one of the people drowned upstream and the body floated into the buoys. The Biden administration has sued Texas to remove those buoys, saying it raises humanitarian concerns and poses a risk to public safety. NBC News Homeland Security correspondent Julia Ainsley is with us this morning. Julia, good morning. How did this idea come about? Well, this started in early 2020. At the end of the Trump administration, they started to look at vendors who could build these buoys because they were running into a problem in Texas where the wall was having to go over a lot of private land. They couldn't get permission to build the wall, so they thought, let's build this buoy system. They went out for contractors. Of course, I don't have to tell you what happened later on in 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic surged, and they put that on hold. They later canceled the projects because Biden was taking off and his administration didn't want anything to do with any kind of barrier along the wall, buoy or wall along the border. But one of the people who was in this office at the time, Michael Banks, is now working as governor, Texas Governor Greg Abbott's border czar. And he's able to bring a lot of these tactical policies that they had. You think of Stephen Miller handling a lot of the legal pieces, how they could ban certain migrants from coming into the U.S., separate families. Michael Banks, I'm told, did a lot of the tactical pieces. And as soon as he came in, which was in January of this year, they started working on this idea of putting more buoys at the southern border. The most interesting part of this, it's not just looking back, Jose, is that Texas is building these buoys with the exact same specifications the Trump administration would have, and any continuation they're doing along the border wall is so that a future Trump administration can expand these projects in the exact same way, Jose. I'm told it's gearing up for a future Trump administration or another president who would be in another immigration hardliner.